The interleukins represent another large family of cytokines, with at least 25 different constituent members having been characterized thus far. Most of the interleukins are produced by a number of different cell types. Here, we introduce one of the important interleukins, interleukin-2. Contents contain interleukin-2 receptor, biological activity, cancer treatment, infectious diseases, and inhibition of interleukin-2 activity. Interleukin-2 also known as T-cell growth factor, represents the most studied member of the interleukin family. It was the first T-cell growth factor to be identified and it plays a central role in the immune response. It is produced exclusively by T-lymphocytes. In response to activation by antigen and mitogens, Human interleukin-2 is a single-chain polypeptide containing 133 amino acids. It is a glycoprotein, the carbohydrate component being attached via an O-linked glycosidic bond to 3-anini residue NO. 3. The mature molecule displays a molecular mass ranging from 15-20, depending upon the extent of glycosylation. The carbohydrate moiety is not required for biological activity. Interleukin-2 induces its characteristic biological activities by binding a specific receptor on the surface of sensitive cells. The high-affinity receptor complex consists of three membrane-spanning polypeptide chains, alpha-dash, beta-dash and gamma-dash. The alpha chain binds interleukin-2 with low affinity, with binding being characterized by high subsequent association disassociation rates. The gamma subunit does not interact directly with interleukin-2. It is sometimes known as gamma C, common, as it also appears to be a constituent of the Illinois 4, minus 7, minus 9, minus 13 and minus 15 receptors. Interleukin-2 acts as a critical autocrine growth factor for T-cells, and the magnitude of the T-cell response is largely dependent upon the level of interleukin-2 produced. Interleukin-2 also serves as a growth factor for activated B lymphocytes. In addition to promoting proliferation of these cells, interleukin-2 stimulates enhanced antibody production and secretion. In this way it effectively potentates the humoral immune response. A third biological activity of interleukin-2 pertinent to immunostimulation is its ability to promote the growth of natural killer cells. It also promotes further differentiation of NK cells, forming lymphokin-activated killer cells, which exhibit an enhanced ability to directly kill tumor cells or virally infected cells. The immunostimulatory activity of Illinois 2 has proved beneficial in the treatment of some cancer types. There exists direct evidence that the immune system mounts an immune response against most cancer types. The exact molecular details of how such tumor escape is achieved remains to be conformed, although several mechanisms have been implicated, including most transformed cells do not express class 2 MHC molecules and express lower than normal levels of class I MHC molecules. This renders their detection by immune effector cells more difficult. Treatment with cytokines, such as IFN gamma, can induce increased class I MHC expression which normally promotes increased tumor cell susceptibility to immune destruction. Transformed cells expressing tumor-specific surface antigens, which closely resemble normal surface antigens, may not induce an immune response. Furthermore, some tumor antigens, while not usually expressed in adults, were expressed previously during the neonatal period and are thus believed by the immune cells to be self.
Some tumors secrete significant quantities of cytokines and additional regulatory molecules which can suppress local immunological activity, for example transforming growth factor beta is capable of inhibiting lymphocyte and macrophage activity. Antibody binding to many tumor antigens triggers the immediate loss of the antibody antigen complex from the transformed cell surface by either endocytosis or extracellular shedding. The glycocalyx can possibly shield tumor antigens from the immune system. Some such agents have even evolved to survive and replicate within macrophages subsequent to uptake via phagocytosis. This is often achieved on the basis that the phagocytosed microbe is somehow capable of preventing fusion of the phagocytosed vesicle with lysosomes. Examples of pathogens capable of survival within macrophages include mycobacteria, listeria monocytogens, Legionella pneumophila. Some such agents have even evolved to survive and replicate within macrophages subsequent to uptake via phagocytosis. This is often achieved on the basis that the phagocytosed microbe is somehow capable of preventing fusion of the phagocytosed vesicle with lysosomes. Examples of pathogens capable of survival within macrophages include mycobacteria, listeria monocytogens, Legionella pneumophila. Selective immunosuppression in individuals suffering from the above conditions is likely best achieved by preventing the synthesis or functioning of Illinois II. Cyclosporin A, one of the foremost immunosuppressive agents currently in use, functions by preventing Illinois II synthesis. A number of alternative approaches are now being considered or tested directly in clinical trials. These include, administration of soluble forms of the Illinois II receptor, which would complete with the native receptor for binding of Illinois II. Administration of monoclonal antibodies capable of binding the Illinois II receptor. Administration of Illinois II variants which retains their ability to bind the receptor but fail to initiate signal transduction. Administration of Illinois II coupled to bacterial or other toxins.